Hi, I'm Mel from Ultimate Oski and I'm here today to talk about the new clinical skill, the inhaled medication um, skill that's now coming up in your NMC Oski exam. So um, if you're following um, this, if you're on the WhatsApp group, you can download the PDF. I'll also put it on the Facebook group. If you're watching on YouTube, you have to WhatsApp me to get the, um, the PDF print out of the checklist because I can't attach it to YouTube. Okay, so let's have a run through of this clinical skill. So I'm going to make sure it's safe to approach the patient. I'm going to gel my hands with antibactericidal hand gel, palm to palm, backs of hands, fingers interlaced, fingers interlocked, tips of fingers, tips of fingers, rotational rubbing of thumbs, rotational rubbing of uh, wrists. So I've met all my infection control um, precautions and I am now going to introduce myself to my patient. Hi um, Dan, my name is Mel and I'm the nurse looking after you today. Um, may I ask um, if it's alright to call you Dan? Yes. Okay, thanks Dan. Um, before we um, begin, um, can I just do a few safety checks, is that okay? Okay. So, um, can I just ask you what your full name is, please? Dan Hargraves. Thanks, Dan. And can I also ask you what your date of birth is? 26th of September, 1963. That's great. So, exam, examiner, I just want to um, tell you that the, the name and date of birth correlate with my MAR chart and also the wristband and that the patient's hospital number also correlates with the wristband and the MAR chart. So I'm happy that the three-way IG check's been complete and I have the right patient. Dan, can I also ask you, are you allergic to any medicines or foods or any inhaled medications, anything? Uh, nope. Okay, and I've just confirmed that um, my patient isn't allergic to any of the medications or any equipment that I'm using today. Are you feeling comfortable, Dan? Are you comfortable at this moment in time? Yep. Great, okay. So I am here today to give you um, an inhaled medication. Is that okay? Sure. Right, okay. So um, doctors prescribed you for a medication um, called baclomethazone, which is a steroid medication. And it's just, the, uh, it's just a medication that helps reduce inflammation in the smaller tubes and airways in your lungs. Is that okay? Okay. Right. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to gather the equipment I'll need and I will talk you through the procedure. Is that okay? Okay. Right. Okay, so first things first, I'm just going to check that my medication is right and it meets six rights of medication. So I'm happy that I have the right patient and I'm happy that the patient isn't allergic to the medicine I'm going to use today. The medicine that is prescribed is a medication called baclomethazone. So I've got the right drug. I'm going to remove the canister from the um, inhaler device and I'm just going to check the expiry date of the medicine. So it's in date, it's not expired. And um, there's medication in my canister. I can hear it go up and down the aerosol container. Um, and I'm also happy that um, the dose is 100 micrograms um, per pressurised inhalation. So every press I give of this medication, I deliver 100 micrograms of medication. And I look down at my medication chart, it says the patient needs 200 micrograms. So I'm going to have to give two presses of this medication to deliver 200 micrograms. Okay? I'm going to put it back in the canister. Um, the medication is inhaled, so it's going the right route, and um, it's once a day, and I'm happy that this dose is safe for my patient. It's been signed by a doctor, and it's a legal prescription, so it meets all the rights of medication. I'm going to put this down. Now, I'm going to deliver my, the medication to this patient via a spacer device, and this particular spacer device is a volumatic so all spacer de uh, devices have to be single patient use. So I'm just going to confirm with my patient this is her device. Hi, um, Dan. Can you tell me, is this your um, spacer? Uh, yes, it is. Great. And I can see it's new. It's in the wrapper, so we don't have to clean it. Um, it's 
going to, I presume it's in date and it's intact. I'm just going to get it out of the wrapper and I am going to um, put it together. Okay, so this volumatic um, comes in two parts. It's really easy to put together. There's a male and a female um, half and you just join them up and connect them. So it's sealed and it forms one chamber. Um, as I've verified, it's a patient's own um, volumatic spacer um, and it's already clean, okay, because it's the first time it's ever been used. Okay, and we've verified with the examiner that it's intact and it's been used for less than a year in a safety use. So I'm going to get my inhaler, I'm going to remove the cap, put that cap safely down on the box up so it's not touching it. And I'm going to put that into this area of my volumatic. So it's a special port. And my inhaler will just fit into the port, okay. And then I'm going to ask my patient um, to purse her lips and um, teeth around the mouthpiece of the volumatic and take a deep breath. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. But first of all, I'm going to get her into the right position. And I'm also going to shake my canister to make sure the aerosol will be easily distributed. Hi Dan, um, are you okay to sit up for me? Okay. Okay, that's a really good position. You're sitting up nicely now. And if you just tilt your head back a little bit, um, what I'm going to ask you to do in a moment is I'm going to ask you to breathe out as much as you can. And then I want you to put your mouth and teeth, so your lips and teeth around the mouthpiece, okay, and create a seal. And I want you to breathe in as hard as you can, okay? Hold that breath for 10 seconds and then slowly breathe out through pursed lips. Nice, low, long, slow, long exhalation. Is that okay? Do you think you can do that? Uh, okay. Okay, do you understand what I've told you? Is it clear? Yes. Okay. So, I'm going to shake my canister to make sure the aerosol is easily distribu uh, distributed. I'm going to put it back into the volumatic. Breathe out as hard as you can, Dan. My patient, I'm now going to pretend, is put their teeth and mouth around the mouthpiece. And I'm going to um, administer an inhaler a dose, and they're going to breathe in as hard as they can. So there goes the dose. The patient is breathing in, and um, he's going to hold his breath for 10 seconds, and then he's slowly going to um, breathe out through his mouth, so he gets as much medication as possible. Okay, so pretend that's happened. Um, are you okay, Dan? Are you feeling relaxed? You don't feel wheezy at all, do you? No. That's good. Um, so I'll just give you um, a little while to relax and um, so you don't get breathless. Okay, so I've just delivered the first dose of your medication. The doctor has actually asked for you to have two um, two puffs of the medication. So when you're ready, I'm going to give you the next puff. Is that okay? Okay. That's okay. So it's the same procedure as before, okay? You breathe out as hard as you can, and then you um, place your teeth and lips around the mouthpiece of this device, and um, you breathe in when I press down, okay? You hold on to that breath for 10 seconds, and you breathe out very slowly through pursed lips, just so until you clear your, your lungs again. Is that okay? Can you do that for me? Okay. Brilliant. Sit up nice and tall, head tilted back, that's fantastic. Make sure my aerosol is um, shaking up. Okay, if you're right to breathe out, great. Put your mouth around the mouthpiece, perfect. Okay, and I'm now just going to pretend that my patient is taking a nice deep breath and then slowly exhaling. Okay, that's happened. Right, Dan, you've had all the medication that you've prescribed. I'm just going to document what I've, uh, what you've, what I've done and I'm going to come back to you with some aftercare advice. Is that okay? Okay. Brilliant. So, I'm going to remove my inhaler from the volumatic. I'm going to replace the mouthpiece cap to keep my keep it clean 
I am going to put it back in its box. This is a, a patient labelled medication with my patient's name on. And I'm going to store it in a locked cupboard as per um, NMC drug storage guidelines. If I was at home, I would advise my patient to wash this up with the normal washing up liquids and let it air dry uh, next to the sink. Um, but as in the hospital, I have access to that. I'm just going to use a 70% Clinelle wipe to clean it. And I am going to advise the examiner once I've cleaned it. I've cleaned the device now, examiner. I'm just going to pretend that that's air dried. Okay. And once it's air dried, which it, we're going to pretend it has, I'm going to store it back in the box. I'm going to put it back in its um, protective um, sleeve. And I'm going to replace it in the box. And I'm going to make sure, as this is patient only medication, that it's got my patient's name and details on so it won't get lost and she knows that it's her volumatic spacer. I'm now going to gel my hands because I have want to adhere to infection control procedures. Palm to palm, backs of hands, fingers interlaced, fingers interlocked, tips of fingers, thumbs and rotational rubbing of, fit, of wrists. I'm going to sign for my medication date it and then I'm going to return to my patient. Hi Dan, okay so I've signed for your medication, um, it's a once daily medication so we'll be coming back tomorrow to give it to you again. Okay you've got your call bell, if you've got any concerns I want you to call me. The medication I gave you as I said was a steroid to stop you uh, having inflammation in the small airways of your lungs. Um, it sometimes causes mouth ulcers, so a way to prevent that from happening is to rinse your mouth just with normal water after you've had the medicine, um, and that will stop that from happening. Um, I'll be back tomorrow to give it again. If you have any concerns at all, or you need me for anything, please just use the call bell. Okay, alright, and I'll just document what I've done. Okay, that's the end of the station.